I'm here at the Spectral Sensitivity Island of the Allied Vision booth and uh, next to me is uh, Jan. Uh, Jan, your um, product manager uh, at Allied Vision for infrared imaging. Jan, can you explain to us uh, what uh, you're showing here on this demo? Um, yes, of course. So we are showcasing our SWIR uh, infrared camera and uh, we see three different powders. They are all white. They are not distinguishable in the visible range. And they're actually those three products which we see here. So we have sh powdered sugar, we have baking soda, and we have washing soda. And what we do here is we have one filter in the SWIR uh, infrared camera that is a very narrow filter. And with this we are able to distinguish those white powders in the infrared region. So actually in the infrared image the powders would take uh, another gray level color, is that right? Yeah, that's correct, exactly. We have one um, which has the highest saturation, which appears white, one is gray and the other one is almost black. So it's very easy to distinguish them. So what, what kind of application could I imagine to, uh, to implement this, uh, this property? Uh, where, where would you implement this, uh, this technology? You would implement this where you exactly know what materials you are dealing with. So when you know you have two or three different materials which you need to separate, um, then you, this solution could work. Um, it's always depending on the materials and we have to look at this um, in more detail, but that could be a possible application. So when you say uh, separating uh, material, are we talking about um, sorting in a, in a manufacturing process or recycling or uh, what, exactly. what could that be? Exactly. It um, would have to be in a controlled environment. So you would have to know what needs to be sorted. Um, in a recycling application, usually you don't know exactly what is coming and uh, you usually also want to separate a lot of materials. Um, that probably won't be possible with just one filter. Then you would really need a multispectral or hyperspectral uh, solution, which you can use the camera for as well, but not on its own. You would need some additional components to make that uh, work. Okay, but basically this illustrates the fact that uh, if you know the different spectral properties of your products, then you can uh, select the right bandwidth uh, of your filter to identify uh, these, uh, these different products, right? Yeah, that's exactly correct. So you would have to um, look at the materials you have and record the spectral information offline. And then um, when you really look them at uh, closely, you can dis find a good position for your filter. There is filters available over the whole um, infrared spectrum, so that's really not an issue. And then you can select the correct one and work from there um, that you can distinguish them with the filter. So for example here on this, uh, on this demo, uh, which uh, bandwidth uh, does the, the filter have? Uh, do you know that? So at, at this demo we look at uh, the center wavelength of the filter is 1650 nanometer and the filter has a bandwidth of just 35 nanometers. So it's a very narrow filter. Okay, thank you very much John. Thank you.